Hello there, my fellow servants of the Laughing God, and welcome back to another lore video on the Eldar, and in particular, the Harlequins. Last time, I asked you folks if you would rather see some specialists of this faction, or an episode on some individual masks. You guys voted for the specialists, so here I am today delivering exactly that. The one unique type of character that we're gonna describe today is known as the Shadow Seer, and among other things, they are masters of illusion. I'm your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? So, what is a Shadow Seer? Known in the Eldar lexicon as the Esdain or Esdain, a Shadow Seer is a mighty Eldar Harlequin Psyker, the abilities of whom center around spreading confusion and fear both on the battlefield and during a performance. The Shadow Seers use manipulation of the mind as their greatest weapon. In battle, they turn their victim senses against them, blinding their eyes, driving them mad, or inflicting fatal psychosomatic wounds. At the same time, they shield their allies from harm, wreathing them in veils of illusion until the time to strike. Enigmatic masters of trickery and misdirection, the Shadow Seer's prodigious psychic abilities are a powerful tool in the ongoing war against the Servants of Chaos. In the mayhem of battle, the Shadow Seer can use their phantasmic powers to terrify and misdirect, drowning the enemy in nightmarish visions. And should one of the dreaded solitaires deign to join a battle, they can slaughter entire regiments while they are hopelessly confused. In the performances of the Harlequins, the Shadow Seers play the role of fate. They act as narrators, speaking in monologue, song, or rhyme, while their fellow players whirl and spin around them. It is the Shadow Seer's subtle psychic abilities, coupled with the hallucinogenic Krydon grenade launchers they wear upon their backs, which provide diverse illusions for their shows. All the Shadow Seers wear a featureless mask finished to a silvered mirror sheen. They never remove this mask in the presence of another, and so none, even among their peers in the Harlequin troop, have ever looked upon the wearer's true face. Instead, when each looks upon that mirrored mask, that individual sees something different. Some see what the wearer wants them to see, others what they themselves want to see. During a performance, the mask takes on a myriad identities, as is appropriate to the Shadow Seer's role of the personification of fate. During a battle, when a Shadow Seer is performing the so-called Dance of Death, the mask reflects back upon those unfortunates that see it a terrifying range of faces. It is said that many see their own death mask in that reflection, although if this is true, none have ever confirmed it, because all the enemies that gaze upon it die within a few moments. Although a Shadow Seer's own mask is a blank, faceless thing, reflecting nightmares back at those daring to gaze upon it, they will also carry another two masks on their belt. Facts are few, and truths are many where the Harlequins are concerned, and the masks of the Shadow Seer's belt are no different. Some say that these are the masks of slain troop members, held by the Shadow Seer until a new player can be found although there may be something more to that as well. Shadow Seers can foresee the fate of their fellow Harlequins, so when an Eldar becomes a Harlequin, it will be the Shadow Seer who presents the new player with their mask, peering into the future to scry the role they were fated to play. The Shadow Seers are also skilled in reading the skies of the future, however their second sight is different from that of an actual Farseer. They are less concerned with the literal manipulation of events, and more concerned with the fulfillment of the mythic role they are supposed to assume. Concealing their identity with a stage name, the Shadow Seer acts as an envoy to both the craft worlds and to Comorites, their faceless masks revealing nothing of their thoughts or intention. The overall commander of a Harlequin mask Shadow Seers sometimes referred to in older texts as the High Warlock or the Afezdan, 
is usually called the High Shadow Seer. And this person may overrule commands issued to warlocks by their troop masters, although that rarely happens in battle. It is not unknown for a High Warlock to take the warlocks from the troops and form them into a separate unit under his or her command. The High Shadow Seer advises the High Troop Master on all psychic matters pertaining to a mask. In a performance, the High Shadow Seer leads and coordinates all the other Shadow Seers as they play the role of a supporting chorus to his storyteller. In battle, he or she may coordinate the other Shadow Seers or act as a completely independent warrior. As already said, Shadow Seers are masters of illusion and misdirection. Such is their power and intellect that they can reach into the minds of a mortal and twist their perceptions on a whim. This may involve shrouding the presence of the Harlequins from the mind of the victim, or trapping the foe in a purgatorial thought maze of their own worst fears. Whatever the precise nature of that manipulation, it will invariably be subtle, sinister, and often cruel. Some known powers of this so-called phantasmancy discipline include The Veil of Tears With a simple gesture in the air, the Shadow Seer snatches the image of the Harlequins from the minds of the enemy, plucking it out and hiding it from sight. The Dance of Shadows with this one, the Shadow Seer uses his powers of illusion to exaggerate the play of light and shadow around an ally. The effect intensifies, shrouding the unit in a whirling vortex of gloom shot through with blinding pulses of light. The Peel of Discord With a slow breath of warp energy, the Shadow Seer throws back his head and sings out a perfect note, interwoven with a horrific banshee scream. Soaring and plunging, the wave of sound rolls onward, a crashing discordia that shatters the bone, bursts brains, and leaves the survivors bleeding and befuddled. The Shards of Light With this one, the Shadow Seer reaches out and plucks blades of pure light out of the air. Although this is just an illusion, the trick is so realistic that it can fool the senses utterly the blades inflicting horrific psychosomatic wounds as they whistle in the air to blind and impale. The Fog of Dreams Soft and subtle, the Shadow Seers send their consciousness forth like a creeping mist. Moment by moment, their thoughts seep into those of the enemy, veiling their sight and baffling their senses. Soon enough, they only see a whirling bank of lamp and silver mist. The sounds of battle echo through this icy murk, and shadows prowl beyond the edge of sight. The enemy are left blind, deaf, and helpless as the Shadow Seer's comrades descend upon them. The Mirror of Minds A Shadow Seer singles out an enemy and appears to them as an apparition lodged in their subconscious. Reality falls away before the victim, replaced by a warped mirror maze of the Shadow Seer's making. Although just a few seconds pass in the real world, within the mind of the victim they must strive against the Shadow Seer's will for days, months, or even years in an effort to escape. Many never do at all. Their souls will erode until nothing is left but a ghost, wandering mad and alone in the prison of their own mind. Some unique war gear of a Shadow Seer includes the Hollow Suit, also known as Dafedi in the Eldar Lexicon, means literally between colors. The device incorporates a programmable hollow field that breaks down the wearer's profile into a fractal light storm as they move. The quicker they travel, the more pronounced the effect. So it is that a charging Harlequin will appear as nothing more than an indistinct prismatic storm that is nigh on impossible to hit allowing them to avoid blows that would have otherwise killed them. The Krydon Grenade Launcher This one is a specialized grenade weapon that hurls canisters of hallucinogenic gas into the air according to pre-programmed firing patterns. These grenade launchers are used exclusively by the Shadow Seers. As the narrators of the so-called Dance Without End, 
Their use of subtle psychic abilities, coupled with the hallucinogenic grenades, provide diverse illusions for their shows, enhancing the sensory experience. Blasts of multicolored light, glowing swirls of blinding mist, and white-hot fires all conjured forth with consummate showmanship. In battle, the Shadow Seer uses their formidable psychic talent to even magnify the effect, leaving the enemies disorientated and easy prey. The Shuriken Pistol These are a bit more standard weapons, light, compact sidearms, favored by the Harlequins as well. The slender, graceful lines of these weapons can mislead many foes, who will discover their lethal stopping power only as a flurry of razor-red shuriken rip into their flesh. The reliability and featherweight construction of these pistols means that many harlequins will bear them into battle, the player's acrobatic style perfectly complemented by the firearm they choose. Finally, the so-called Mist Stave is an exotic melee weapon unique to the Shadow Seers. Traditionally, every Shadow Seer carries this iconic weapon. Its complex manufacture channels their mental power to crush armor plates and shatter bone. Against a living victim, even a glancing blow from such a weapon scrambles their perception, clouding the mind with contradictory illusion and reducing sight to a slow motion blur. The Mistave is also the Shadow Seer's sign of office and its tip is a totem to the Laughing God, with the front a laughing face and the back a grinning skull. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Eldar Harlequin Shadow Seers and their abilities for today. Definitely a very powerful specialist, while also keeping in line with the usual traits of the Eldar, aka speed, agility, and misdirection. Did you know about the Shadow Seers prior to this video? Are they among your favorite units of the Harlequins, or why not the Eldar in general? What do you like or dislike most about them? Do share any thoughts or questions you may have on the matter in the comments below. If you found the episode informative or entertaining, please click the like, share, and subscribe buttons for future content. Thanks a lot for watching to the end, and I wish you all a great and healthy day. May Isha's blessings be upon you.